Our next lecture is on budgeted hourly rates. We'll combine what we learned last week, identifying cost centers, uh, to create an hourly rate that a company, a person, uh, whatever can charge per hour. Our objectives for this lecture are to one, define what a budgeted hourly rate is, two, identify cost centers involved in creating a budgeted hourly rate, three, we're going to create a systematic approach for creating our own personalized BHR, and four, we're going to establish a working BHR for yourself. Um, you're going to pick some aspect of your life and decide how much you should charge per hour to create a break-even point. The objective of BHR isn't to make a profit, it's to find your break-even point. So if I decide that I have to charge $60 per hour, if I charge $60 per hour at the end of the year, I will break even. So if I wanted to make money, I'd have to add some sort of percentage or commission on top of that. So our first objective is to identify what a budgeted hourly rate is. And a budgeted hourly rate is a fixed rate charged for a service per hour. It is not a random or a guesstimated number. It is an exact cost that is calculated to incorporate all variables associated with a particular operation. Many things have associated budgeted hourly rates. For example, a printing press, a graphic designer, and a delivery truck will all have their own separate budgeted hourly rates. These BHRs will incorporate all the costs associated with their operation over a year's time. So if we look at the delivery truck, you might charge $60 per hour to deliver printed goods, whatever they happen to be. The $60 per hour will be calculated by adding together everything that the company would have to pay for in regard to that truck for the entire year. So the person who drives it has a salary. They might have a payment on the truck. They probably have car insurance or truck insurance, maintenance that they have to, gas they have to buy, etc. will all be added together or summed and then divided by the number of hours that that truck is in operation to create a budgeted hourly rate for the truck. So how are BHRs used? BHRs are only one half of the equation when we are creating pricing for a customer. Um, budgeted hourly rate incorporates all the costs for a particular cost center for the entire year, but there are some variables we can't we can't incorporate into the budgeted hourly rate because they're different depending on what customer is using that budgeted hourly rate. So if you think about a printing press, um, I can charge $400 per hour for my printing press, but I can't incorporate the paper costs or the ink costs into that because they are different depending on the customer. So if customer A is going to be on press for six hours and customer B is also going to be on press for six hours, I can charge them both $400 per hour to run the press. However, when I go to buy the paper, if customer A chooses really cheap paper and customer B chooses really expensive paper, the end cost of their job is going to be different, right? So we have two types of costs that must be incorporated when using a budgeted hourly rate. You have your hourly rate, which is the rate for all the things that you, can, you have to pay for for the entire year. And then you have a, a cost, it's a fixed cost, for whatever the customer chooses, all the variables that are customer dependent. So if we were to combine those two things together, we can call it the job run cost if we're breaking it down just into the printing portion of a, of a printed job. So job run costs are the costs associated with printing a particular job. The run cost incorporates all the costs when a job leaves the pre-press department up until printed sheets come off the back end of a printing press. So if I was quoting a job for a customer, run costs would only be one portion of it. I would still have to incorporate all the pre-press costs, the finishing costs, delivery costs, etc. However, this one portion, the job run cost, can be divided into um, fixed costs and variable costs. So variable cost is cost per hour, something like that, like a budgeted hourly rate. And I also have fixed costs, costs that are dependent on the user. So if the user buys a th thousand sheets of paper, if the paper is a dollar a sheet, they're going to spend a thousand dollars. If they choose a paper that's two thousand dollars a sheet, I can't incorporate that into my BHR because I don't know what paper they're going to choose. So different things that a cost company must incorporate into a total price for a cost center or an area are plates, paper and ink, the number of hours a job will be on the printing press, setup and wash up times, and whatever other costs a company might incur while a job is on the printing press. The costs that I'm going to incorporate into the budgeted hourly rate are things that I have to pay for no matter what. So plates, paper and ink, they're dependent on the customer. 
If the customer prints a job that has 10 colors in it, they need 10 plates. If they only send a job that has two colors, they only need two plates. Same thing happens with paper and ink. So those first two costs, they can't be incorporated into my budgeted hourly rate because they're customer dependent. The next three, uh, the number of hours a job will be on the printing press and set up and wash up times, I can charge an hourly rate for that. So if the job is really complex and it's going to take four hours to set up as opposed to two, I can charge them an extra two hours at $400 an hour or whatever my budgeted hourly rate is.